thing on the inside. Ooh. This is picarones. These things actually taste delicious. Picarone. What is up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So today I will be exploring Lima. I finally made it to the sanctuary state, which is one of my favorite locations here because it's safe, it's beautiful, and it's amazing and has a lot of history to it that's kind of filled deep inside and everywhere you look you end up finding more stuff. But today hopefully I'll be trying to see if I can get a haircut and I do want to rent a car eventually. I just realized it's Sunday that can't happen. So let's get into the adventure. So this is the beautiful town of Lima once again. This place is awesome. I'm gonna see if I can come here to the bodega so I can see if I could grab myself a nice little Inca Cola. So I just made it to the store and I bought some Lucoma from Gloria. This thing is tastes amazing, it's yogurt. And then I saw this thing, which is kind of cool. I don't know what this is, but it's 520% something. It looks like eggs. I'm gonna look at the little pig on the inside. Ooh. What is that? If you guys know what that is, let me know. I'm not gonna ask. I'm too embarrassed. I don't even see Julio. Julio is the one that always gives me the, the drinks. No, no, no. Right over here, actually. I almost messed it. Cannot come to Lima, Peru and not drink Inca. This is like founded on Lima. Parun Graciosa. Yeah. Cuanto es? Tres soles. Tres soles, tres soles. Yo me this is lo que tomas. Si, sí, este. Oh. Yo voy a usar esto hoy. Oh, yeah. So look, not only did I just buy an Inca Cola, but the gentleman right in front of me also has an Inca Cola. This is also known as, like you could say it in Spanish, and it's called a Graciosa, which is my favorite. Okay, so this is the little Central Park area. I'm pretty sure you guys probably recall this area, but this is where some guy was actually stabbed and actually passed away further up there. But this is like the main area here for Jesus Maria, which is one of my favorite areas. Here is not dangerous at all. This is the only chair I could find. It's probably gonna be in direct sunlight. Or it probably already is in direct sunlight. This, God, this chair is steaming. I'm gonna start walking. So they're trying to put back on the mask mandates in this uh, country. They actually just took it off. So if you notice in the last videos when I was here, um, you have to have a mask on everywhere you go. As of right now, you don't, but people are getting sick a lot more now. So they want to bring it back in. The thing is, if they bring that back in, everything goes back on lockdown and I have to show paperwork for everything that I do. It just becomes a nightmare. So even, I mean, that was the only thing that I did not like about Peru the last time was the mask mandates. Hopefully that's no longer a thing. You see this guy's job right here is to pretty much go next to the cars and uh, they would have to pay like a sol, like one sol to help back him up. And he pretty much uh, helps everyone back up. They do this for everyone. At first I was confused. I'm like, who's this guy coming up to the car? But that's what he does. And every time you back up, you just give him like 25 cents or something. It's really not that big of a deal. All right, so right now I'm still walking towards the market areas. We got all these little beauty salons here. Some shakes. This is the Metro, the main supermarket here. I wanted to show you guys this last time, but I couldn't. This is how it is inside. I had to take the camera down rapidly just because of security. I don't know if they're camera friendly, so I gotta, I'd rather find out by accident than uh, get told right off the back. But this is how the supermarket here looks. Kinda looks like a Walgreens. 13.50, which is 13 sold. For Clorox. Clorox, toiletas, disinfectants. Pretty much toilet paper, disinfectants. They also sell a lot of these off-brand stuff. I think they're off-brand. A lot of things are just imported from China. 
so a lot of this stuff, all this is just soap, pretty much jabón. And they create this only in Peru, and they sell it here. It actually like, looks a lot cooler than what you see at the States. But again, all this stuff is either imported or created here. And then they have the, the Avengers gloves. This, I've never seen this biotech. But this, I've never seen here in, uh, <laughs> in the States. Look at that. Maybe it does exist. I just don't really go shopping for uh, soap like this. I did buy a baby shark soap one time, which is pretty cool. The cleaning lady at the hotel was like, what is this for? It's like, I, I got secrets. This is Paretones. Super popular here in Peru, especially on the Christmas season. They have a whole bunch of fruits on the inside. Uh, they, there's, a, there's one in English, but I forgot the name of it. I don't remember. But here they sell these by the dozens. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? 21 soles, which I'll tell you the price on that one now. That's the price. I probably looked it up and put it on the screen while editing. But yeah, that's all paretones. They sell this a lot. In fact, I'm always getting offered this when I meet people or I go to a restaurant, especially in the Christmas season. The one thing that's hard to get used to is getting used to the AC, because there's no AC in any of these buildings. So you're in here and it's just hot. You got everybody else's heat and your own mixed in. So I'm already feeling the sweat start dripping down my neck. And I just saved, so it stings a little bit. Oh, what kind of hot dogs are these? Look at this. These are like white hot dogs. ¿Qué es esto? This is salchicha de pavo. Pechuga de pavo. Ah, pechuga de pavo. Ah, sí, yo lo veo. Salchicha de pavo. Wow. I've never seen hot dogs white before. I usually see it like this color. So it's a pero gracias. Oh yeah, that one's, but this looks more expensive because of the market hot dog. You make sure they say it in English. I bet you 20 bucks isn't more expensive. 550. And I think that's in dollars? No, that's not 550. Ah, mirando precio. Oh, the SCC. Okay, okay. Oh, that one's, this one's more expensive. And más caro esto. <laughs> so here's a fish market. Oh, you can see a little bit of blood there. I haven't seen it like this since I went to the other supermarkets. Look at these. It's as if you could see into the soul. These are literally fresh. No uh, GMO products here. Like it just comes straight from the ocean. I'm gonna be making my way towards the Amazon so I can see the piranha fish. I'm gonna see if I can rent a boat through there and go through the whole Amazon area before I leave Peru. That, which I think that's gonna be awesome. I've always been told and heard of the Amazon, but they also have mosquitoes that bite you and they can leave eggs in your arm and grow other baby mosquitoes. It's weird, but hopefully that doesn't happen. But it's, you know, you can get sick, but I'm gonna do it. I want to check out the Amazon. Apparently these balls smell like a flavor. I'm just smelling rubber. I know that they sell balls here that smell like fruits, but that smell just like, I look like an idiot. I don't think that was the right ball. Everyone's just staring at me smelling balls. Moving forward. Look at this cat. Hola, hola. El gato. Bonito. I love seeing those cats everywhere. Oh look, that's the police or security. One thing is that the majority of them uses revolvers, which I would prefer them using like a Glock or something, or something with more in the magazine, not just like six shots, you know? That's the majority of weapons. Oh wow, look at this. Christmas decorations, locks. Oh, this is like the food market. Oh, I'm in the food market. Oh, this ride, we gotta be careful. Security actually doesn't want me filming in here. 
now that I recall correctly. Well, there's so much stuff here. So this is picarones. These things actually taste delicious. Look at that. You do that, poke a hole around it, wiggle it around, and they use it covered in sugar cane. For eight soles. These are actually very famous here. Picarones. Caramel or syrup? I think it's syrup. I'm passing by the church and they're playing the sounds of silence. Yeah, they are. They are definitely playing the sounds of silence. I didn't know that was a religious song. I thought that was just a, a really famous song. So I finally got a chance to sit down and eat a picarone. Let's see how it tastes like. Apparently she says straight up that this is diabetes. I've, I've been good with eating, so. Mm. That's how it looks like on the inside. It tastes like a non-glazed donut, if that makes any sense. So I've made it to a place that I wanted to show you guys. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. Wasn't expecting to see it in a, in a, in a Christmas outfit. So I have something really cool to show you guys. I'm going to an area here that it's very, very famous. Oh wow, look at those. <laughs> this place is very hugely famous in Peru. And it's called, I can't remember the name. I'm going to read it to you right now. Parque de la Reserva. One more time. Parque de la Reserva. See, this is why I, I, I can't do the Spanish yet. That's why someone else is doing it. Because I'm terrible at talking. Parque de la Reserva. So there's already a huge line. This is like Peru's version of uh, Universal Studios. <laughs> Not bad. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. But uh, definitely does look like it. So there's going to be a huge show tonight where it's gonna be a, an amazing water show. I want you guys to see. I've seen it before, but I made the mistake of not recording it in one of my last vlogs that I was out here. But this place is like a very historical history type of thing. It kind of just updates you with some of the main, most events that happen here in Peru. This is also another huge water show here, but it's not a show show like the other one, but this is one of them. Look at that. And I'm waiting for the big one in the, in the middle. It's, uh, I'm just waiting for it to just, you know, erect. Nice and tall. There it is. It's erecting. Maybe if I do a little bit more of a dance, it'll erect higher. I think it goes bigger than that. <laughs> it sounds horrible, but I swear I'm talking about water. It really erects higher. Like it shoots up. Okay, for some reason, I, I can't get the water to fully extend. I've been here for 20 minutes, and it's not extending at all. I might have to resort to some outside supplements to get this to work. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here the last time where these cool dinosaurs and a family. This is my family you guys don't know about. <laughs> That's my uncle Jorge. No, let me stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's watch one of them. Like, I watch your channel, fool. 
Look at that. So basically what it does is it sprays water into the air and it projects the film. In fact, you can see a little bit. I hope it didn't start. I think that's just a music video. This is another way to say hot dog. They call it a charipan. A charipan, yep. But look at that. I wonder if they have a... You can see her making it on the inside. Look at the size of that sausage. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, well, I said that and pointed at the lady. I meant I'm talking about the water in the background. <laughs> I was think I hope she does not understand English. That looked it bad. Okay, I was looking at my camera phone. I just pointed right at her. Look at the size of this thing. All right, hopefully I can make it in. Look at this. I'm already getting kind of wet. <laughs> I don't want my camera getting wet, or else it's gonna stop recording. It's so cold. I got it all over my face. This guy has a pretty cool toy. Yeah. Come on, shoot it up, look at that. So I just bought a volador. I mean, it looked kind of cool. Little plastic thing. I don't know what it is, but I, every time I see something really cheap and small that you could shoot up into the air and fly, it brings back just a little bit of childhood. This is what he's throwing up in the air. I don't even know how this works. I'm probably gonna do this in a different area because I'm gonna get it stuck on a tree. Of course, it would be fully erected once I'm not there. But that's the waterfall. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Now it's going back down because <laughs> I started recording it. But that's the waterfall. I'm glad you guys got to see it. Now this is where the water show will be taking place. There's going to be a whole bunch of things and designs and movies and stuff playing on this water thing here. And it's actually one of the main attractions here. Everybody comes here and it shows like a bit of a brief preview of Peru. Like the history of Peru. Which is pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. of this video. Finally made it here. Lima has got to be my favorite like place to go to in South America. It's chill, it's relaxed. I think Lima and Argentina are my two most favorite locations, but I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. This is a quick video I wanted to put together so you guys can check it out. I still have a ton of locations I want to go to. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.